sickness all of you who are joining in this live streaming you know why do you have this sickness today the lord is telling you because one day the lord knows one day you will join in this live streaming and the lord knows when you sincerely with full con commitment and sincerely join in this one month retreat change your whole life and repent of all your past sins and confess your sins and be united to christ and start a new life the lord will heal you and when you are healed you will testify your healing in front of others and thus the glory the lord will be glorified and that is why god permitted this sickness this is what the lord says today let's read once again this illness, this illness does, not death, does, does not lead to death does not lead to death this illness, this illness which you have which you have does not lead to death does not lead to death this cancer this cancer this sickness this sickness this affliction this affliction this confusion this confusion this depression this depression this illness this illness does not lead to death does not lead to death rather rather it is for god's glory 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 so that so that the son of God the son of God Jesus Christ Jesus Christ may be glorified may be glorified through these through these praise the lord praise the lord thank you father thank you father this is the meaning of your suffering don't worry therefore trust in the lord and pray sincerely you are healed in Jesus name praise the lord praise the lord Jesus is in the ceiling for us Holy Spirit is in the ceiling for us and we ourselves are in the ceiling and as a result the miracles and healings are taking place even if you are alone you are not alone there are three intercessions going on simultaneously Jesus is in the ceiling for you and the Holy Spirit is in the ceiling for you and you yourself is praying therefore anyone even if you are praying alone there is this word of God is fulfilled over there let's read this word of god matthew 18:19 truly i tell you truly i tell you if two of you agree on earth if two of you agree on about earth, anything you ask about anything it will ask, be done for you it will be done by my you. father in heaven by my father in heaven praise the lord praise the lord if you are going through depression pray for those who are in depression especially if you know the names of those people whom you know personally that they are going through depression write it down in a small piece of paper and keep it with you always and call the call them by their name and bring it to the presence of god and pray for them all these prayers will bring healing for you as well they will be blessed as well as you will be blessed you will never be dis disappointed for this the same way any kind of sickness you are going through if you are suffering from cancer if you are suffering from any other sickness pray for those who are suffering because there are so many in this world who are in need of a prayer there are there are people who are in need of somebody's prayer but there is nobody to pray for them that is why the lord is telling you today to pray for them so that you will be blessed when you pray for them you will be blessed because we read in the bible many times god is encouraging others to pray for each other we are going to speak about it in the coming moments god likes in the session god wants in the session because we are not individual islands we are all social beings we should be connected to each other therefore god is so happy to shower his mighty blessings when we pray for others dear brothers and sisters suppose if abraham continue in the ceiling for sodom and gomorrah continuously tirelessly i strongly believe god would have saved the whole sodom and gomorrah would not have destroyed that place this is the power of the intercession the more you intercede the intensity of the punishment consequence of the sin the influx afflictions of the evil will be reduced 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 This is the power of intercession when you pray for others when you intercede for your family when you beg for your family members when you cry in front of God and say Lord forgive me the sins of my father forgive the sins of my mother forgive the sins of my brothers my sisters forgive the sins of this country the Lord's blessings will be showered upon everyone for whom you pray the Lord will reduce the intensity of the affliction That is why God is asking us to pray. Pray unceasingly, you will see the effect of it. Pray for your husband, husband pray for your wife, parents pray for your children, children pray for your parents. 
if you think your son is falling into wrong relationship if you see your daughter is in a wrong relationship your son is addicted to bad habits kneel down and intercede for thousands of other sons there are so many youngsters who are into addictions pray for them when you pray for them your son will be delivered when you pray for other daughters your daughter will be delivered praise the lord thank you jesus thank you. and he interceded for them when you are in the midst of the poor people who are suffering and pray for them miracles will happen to them healings and deliverance will happen to them when you are in along with your family members you are in the midst of the family members and pray for them when you are in the midst of the sick people and pray for them miracles and healings will happen was 48 we read like this he stood between the dead and the living he stood, he stood between, between the, the dead, dead and, and the living and the plague was stopped and, and the, the plague, plague was stopped praise the psalm 110 was one we read like this what of god speaks to us psalm 110 was one the lord says to my lord the lord says to my lord sit at my right hand sit at my right hand until i make your enemies your footstool until i make your enemies your footstool sit at my right hand sit at my right hand until i make your enemies your footstool until i make your enemies your footstool jesus is sitting at the right side of the father and is interceding for all of us it is also written in the book of letter to hebrew hebrews jesus is sitting at the right side of the father and is interceding for us and as jesus is interceding for us that is why we have blessings after blessings jesus is requesting in front of the heavenly father father give him this so and so blessing because i died for them give her this so and so blessing because i died for her jesus is interceding for the disciples interceding for all of us and that is why we are getting these healings and miracles and wonders in our lives now we also read from the bible gospel of john chapter 16 verse 14 gospel of john chapter 16 verse 14 we read like this praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah 13 onwards let's read okay verse number 14 let's read verse 14 the word of god says he will glorify me he will, he will glorify, glorify me because, because because he will take what is mine he will, he will take, take what, what is mine and declare it to you and, and declare, declare it to you. you he will take what is mine he will take what is and mine declare it to you. and declare it to you praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord jesus what is what jesus is doing right now is interceding for the whole world and what holy spirit is doing is he is taking what jesus is doing and giving it to us too and is asking us to intercede for others praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord jesus is interceding and the holy spirit he is taking these intercession from this duty same duty from jesus and giving to us too and telling us to intercede for others because the holy spirit himself is doing the same romans chapter 8 verse 26 we read like this romans chapter 8 verse 26 we read like this what of god says likewise likewise the spirit helps us spirit spirit helps in our weakness in, in our weakness. weakness for we do not know for we do not how, know to how to pray how to pray as we ought as, as we ought. ought but that very spirit but that very spirit, spirit in the seeds with sighs in the seeds with sighs to deep forwards to deep forwards jesus is in the seeding holy spirit is in the seeding and the holy spirit and jesus is asking us to intercede for others this is called trinitarian intercession there is a trinitarian intercession that is why jesus said wherever two or three are gathered together in my name and ask for anything i will listen to them here already there are two and three jesus is in the seeding for us holy spirit is in the seeding for us and we ourselves are in the seeding and as a result the miracles and healings are taking place even if you are alone you are not alone there are three intercessions going on simultaneously jesus is interceding for you and the holy spirit is interceding for you and you yourself is praying therefore anyone even if you are praying alone there is this word of god is fulfilled over there let's read this word of god matthew 18:19 Ma- 
Truly I tell you. Truly I tell you. If two of you agree on earth, if two of you agree on earth, about anything you ask, about anything you ask, it will be done for you. It will be done by my Father in heaven. By my Father in heaven. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. With this confidence, let us pray together. This first decade, before that, let's listen to this testimony. the healings and deliverance and miracles happens not only for them but also for you as well praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord some just last week i, I think is just last week one of uh, one of the government ministers in india one of the ministers in india uh, the government ministers uh, and especially in kerala he was giving a testimony publicly is a transport minister of kerala and he gave a testimony publicly and the testimony goes like this sometime back he didn't have they were praying for a gift of child and then they tried all the medications and everything and there was no gift of child and they prayed at the end they came to the divinity center pota and attended the retreat and met father matthew nikembrabel and during the retreat father when he met the met father matthew nikembrambil father matthew told them only one thing and he said he asked the minister he was not a minister then and he asked him um, are you praying sincerely then he said yes i am praying what are you praying for then he said i am praying for a gift of child lord give me a gift of child that's what i pray then the fa- then father matthew told him from today you pray for those who are struggling to get the gift of children all those who are praying for a gift of child pray for them all those whom you know personally and all those who are uh, have requested your prayers you pray for them sincerely for the same problem which you are going through pray for those people who are going through the same kind of problem and uh, they start up praying like this so this minister was sharing publicly and he said i went to speak to father so that i may be healed my family may be blessed we should get a gift of child and now this priest is telling me to pray for others what kind of prayer it is i do, it doesn't make any sense so he thought like this in his mind but still he obeyed father and he obeyed he prayed like this and he started praying for others and especially prayed for those people who are childless and within one month within no time they his wife was pregnant and they got the gift of child and this was the testimony officially publicly announced by this minister so these are un- there are hundreds of testimonies like this when you pray for others the lord's blessing will come to you we read like this book of job chapter 42 verse 10 book of job chapter 42 verse 10 we read like this and the lord restored the fortunes of job and the lord restored the fortunes of job when he had prayed for his friends when he had prayed for his friends and the lord gave job twice as much as he had before and the lord gave job twice as much as he had before if you are going through depression pray for those who are in depression especially if you know the names of those people whom you know personally that they are going through depression write it down in a small piece of paper and keep it with you always and call the call them by their name and bring it to the presence of god and pray for them all these prayers will bring healing for you as well they will be blessed as well as you will be blessed you will never be dis- disappointed for this the same way any kind of sickness you are going through if you are suffering from cancer if you are suffering from any other sickness pray for those who are suffering because there are so many in this world who are in need of a prayer there are there are people who are in need of somebody's prayer but there is nobody to pray for them that is why the lord is telling you today to pray for them so that you will be blessed when you pray for them you will be blessed because we read in the bible many times god is encouraging others to pray for each other we are going to speak about it in the coming moments god likes intercession god wants intercession 
because we are not individual islands we are all social beings we should be connected to each other therefore god is so happy to shower his mighty blessings when we pray for others it shows the mutual connection and relationship where there is relationship you will see the power of god manifested praise the lord praise the thank lord. you jesus thank you praise jesus. you jesus. Praise praise jesus that is why we need to intercede for others when you pray for others you will be blessed when you forgive others you will be blessed when you do something for others you will be blessed praise the lord praise, praise the, the lord. lord thank you jesus thank, thank you jesus. jesus second chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 let's read second chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 let's read this word of god if my people if my people who are called by my name who are called by my name humble themselves humble themselves pray pray seek my face seek my face turn from their wicked ways turn from their wicked ways then Then I will hear from heaven I will, I will hear, hear from heaven. heaven I will forgive their sin I will, I will forgive, forgive their, their sin. sin heal their land and heal their, their land. land the whole land will be healed and their sins will be forgiven when they pray humble themselves and pray praise the lord praise if the lord. you pray your whole land will be blessed the whole house will be blessed wherever you stay when you join for this live streaming every day remember not only you are getting blessing the whole family is going to get blessing because the whole house where you stay will be blessed and healed the healing is needed not only for our human beings but also for the land too praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank, thank you jesus. jesus let's listen to this testimony my name is carol bakita then was 21 we read like this I must go down and see whether they have done all together according to the outcry that has come to me and if not I will know so God said I'm going to know I'm going to see what is happening there in Sodom and Gomorrah let me see you so God is visiting Sodom and Gomorrah God says I'm going to visit verse 22 we read like this verse 22 so the men turned from there and went towards Sodom while Ab- abraham remained standing before the lord abraham was standing in front of the lord god himself was appearing to abraham in the form of human being and abraham was standing in front of them verse 23 we read like this then abraham came near and said will you indeed sweep away the righteous with the wicked see when god has decided to do something against those sodom and gomorra Abraham is interceding for the people of Sodom and Gomorrah because Abraham knows his own family members are there in law you know the Lot and family the Lot and family is there in Sodom and Gomorrah and Abraham had a compassion for the people of Sodom and Gomorrah and he said will you indeed sweep away the righteous with the wicked is true that there are so many wicked but will you swipe away sweep away the wicked also i mean the righteous people also along with the wicked then the lord said was 24 we read like this suppose there are 50 righteous within the city abraham is bargaining with god abraham said lord if there are 50 righteous people in the city will you then sweep away the place and not forgive it for the 50 righteous who are in it if there is 50 people will you do the same will you destroy that place then what did god say god said far be it from you to do such a thing to slay the righteous with the wicked so that the righteous fare fare as the wicked far be that from you shall not the judge of all the earth do what is just and verse 26 we read and the lord said the lord said if i find that sodom 50 righteous in the city i will forgive the whole place for their sake if one person is leading a good life and holy life god will protect the whole place including the wicked people for the sake of one righteous person no wonder god has not destroyed the whole world yet because there are at least some good and righteous people in the world if there is at least 50 people i will never pro- i will never attack the whole country this is what god said and then verse 27 abraham said let me take it upon myself to speak to the lord i who am but dust and ashes he is so humble and is begging in front of the lord 
verse 28 he says suppose five of the 50 righteous are lacking will you destroy the whole city for lack of five and he said i will not destroy it if i find 45 there instead of 50 only 45 are there will you destroy god said i will not destroy verse 29 again he spoke to him suppose 40 are found there suppose only 40 good people then he answered for the sake of the 40 i will not do it and then he said oh do not let the lord be angry if, if i speak suppose 30 are found there suppose if there is only 30 people he answered i will not do it if i find 30 there verse 31 he said, let me take it upon myself to speak to the Lord. Suppose 20 are found there. Only 20 people are there. Will you destroy? Then God said, for the sake of 20, I will not destroy. Then next one. Then he said, oh, do not let the Lord be angry if I speak just once more. Suppose 10 are found there. He answered, for the sake of 10, I will not destroy it. I don't know why Abraham stopped here. He should have continued because the secret here, the more he interceded, the more the Lord reduced the intensity of the punishment. The more he interceded, interceded, the salvation of Sodom and Gomorrah was coming closer, closer, closer. I wish Abraham would have continued this. Continued the prayer. So that he could have saved the whole Sodom and Gomorrah. Maybe something stopped him. And he stopped the intercession. God went, continued destroying because there was not even 10 people good. And the Lord went his way. And when he had finished speaking to Abraham. And Abraham returned to his place. He returned. My dear brothers and sisters. Suppose if Abraham continued interceding for Sodom and Gomorrah. Continuously, tirelessly. I strongly believe God would have saved the whole Sodom and Gomorrah would not have destroyed that place. This is the power of the intercession. The more you intercede, the intensity of the punishment, consequence of the sin, the afflictions of the evil will be reduced, 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 reduced. This is the power of intercession. When you pray for others, when you intercede for your family, when you beg for your family members, when you cry in front of God and say, Lord, forgive the sins of my father, forgive the sins of my mother, forgive the sins of my brothers, my sisters, forgive the sins of this country. The Lord's blessings will be showered upon everyone for whom you pray. The Lord will reduce the intensity of the affliction. That is why God is asking us to pray. Pray unceasingly. You will see the effect of it. Pray for your husband. Husband, pray for your wife. Parents, pray for your children. Children, pray for your parents. If you think your son is falling into wrong relationship, if you see your daughter is in a wrong relationship, your son is addicted to bad habits, kneel down and intercede for thousands of other sons. There are so many youngsters who are into addictions. Pray for them. When you pray for them, your son will be delivered. When you pray for other daughters, your daughter will be delivered. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, in Jesus. fact, you know, this is what happened. When Abraham prayed for all the people in Sodom and Gomorrah, God saved his own brother, Loth and family. When Abraham prayed for others, God saved his own brother, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. His own brother Lot and all his family. So this is what happens. When you pray for others, blessing will come to you for sure. If you have sickness, pray for the same kind of people who are having the same kind of sickness. Pray for them. The Lord's blessing will come upon you for sure. Praise the Lord. Praise Praise the Lord. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's listen to this testimony. My name is Na 16, verse 46 onwards. Numbers chapter 16 verse 46 onwards we read like this. The word of God speaks to us. Moses said to Aaron, take your censer. Take, take your, your censer. censer. Okay, let's read from verse 40, 45 onwards. We read like this. 
get away from this congregation so that I may consume them in a moment they fell on their faces. So the punishment came upon them. Verse 46 onwards we read, Moses said to Aaron, Moses, Moses said to him, take your censer, take your censer, censer. put fire on it, put, put fire, fire on it from the altar, from, from the, the altar. altar, lay incense on it, lay lay incense incense on and it. carry it quickly, and carry it quickly to the congregation, to the congregation, and make atonement for them, and make, make atonement for them, for wrath has come, gone out from the Lord, for wrath, wrath has gone out from, from the Lord. Lord, the plague has begun, the plague, the plague has, has begun. begun, so. The plague pandemic started affecting the whole Israel because of the sin that they committed. Then when the pandemic started, plague started, Moses told the priest Aaron to do the intercession, do atonement for the sins, ask forgiveness for all the sins of everyone so that this plague should stop. My dear brothers and sisters, today when you join for this retreat, Praying for the sick people, the first thing that you need to do is ask forgiveness for the sins of everyone, including you and others and all the family members. Ask forgiveness from the, for the, from the Lord for the sins we have committed. We need to do atonement for our sins. We need to beg for forgiveness from the Lord. The Lord's blessing will come upon you. And then verse, verse 47, we read like this. So Aaron took it as Moses had ordered. So Aaron took it as Moses had ordered. And ran into the middle of the assembly. And ran into the middle of the assembly. Where the plague had already begun. Where the plague had already begun. Among the people. Among the people. He put on the incense. He put on the incense. And made atonement for the people. And made atonement for the people. Aaron with all these protection from the altar. These prayers of the altar, the holy masses and all the prayers of the altar. With the power of this altar, he went in the midst of the people where the plague is already spreading. And he interceded for them. When you are in the midst of the poor people who are suffering and pray for them, miracles will happen to them. Healings and deliverance will happen to them. When you are in along with your family members, you are in the midst of the family members and pray for them. When you are in the midst of the sick people and pray for them, miracles and healings will happen. Verse 48, we read like this. He stood between the dead and the living. He stood, he stood between, between the, the dead, dead and, and the living. And the plague was stopped. And the plague was stopped. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So my dear brothers and sisters, from this day onwards, we are interceding for everyone. I would like to request all of you, we are doing 100,000 fasting days during the, for the success of this one month retreat. There are so many thousands have already done fastings in these last so many days. I would like to request all of you, please do find one of these days and make sure of maybe one or more days of fasting. Fasting means you can avoid food. But if you are under medication, if you can take a little bit of food, what is necessary, maybe in either morning or evening, and other food, just sacrifice it and avoid it. Maybe one day or two days, if you are able to do more, you can do it for more days. And, but drink a lot of water and do fasting. And fast sincerely and sacrifice your, you know, your special food, the, the delicious food which you like most. Sacrifice those food in a special way during these days. The God's blessing will come upon all the people who are going to attend this retreat. And we are praying together. When you pray for others, when you do atonement for the sins of everyone who is joining in this retreat, you will see the miracles happening in the midst of the people. Now in the midst of the people, we are going to do fasting and penances and prayers. Please do, do that sincerely. After doing fasting, you update it in our website. In our website, there is a counter, fasting counter. There you update it. And therefore, you, we can complete the 100,000 of fasting days. And we are praying for all those who are joining in this live streaming, especially in this whole month. And so that they all will be healed. Everyone, every sin, single individual person who is joining in this live streaming will be healed. Pray for the forgiveness of the sins. If anyone who is joining in this live streaming and who is suffering from any kind of serious sickness, I request in front of you, my dear brothers and sisters, beg for forgiveness for all the sins you committed in the past. 
knowingly or unknowingly so it may not be because of your sins or any anything it may be a work of god to glorify god it is it, god has permitted this sickness in your life so that his miracle may happen in front of you in your life so that you will be able to glorify god publicly but still it is the duty of every christian to pray for forgiveness and let us ask forgiveness from the lord for all the sins we have committed and our family members have committed let us beg for forgiveness and you will see the miracles happening in your life praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus, praise you, jesus. we read like this gospel of john chapter 11 verse 4 we read but when jesus heard it but when jesus heard it he said he said this illness this illness does not lead to death does not lead to death rather it is for god's glory it is for god's glory so that the son of god may be glorified so the son of god may be glorified through it through it praise the lord praise the lord you know this sickness all of you who are joining in this live streaming you know why do you have this sickness today the lord is telling you because one day the lord knows one day you will join in this live streaming and the lord knows when you sincerely with full con- commitment and sincerely join in this one month retreat change your whole life and repent of all your past sins and confess your sins and be united to christ and start a new life the lord will heal you and when you are healed you will testify your healing in front of others and thus the glory the lord will be glorified and that is why god permitted this sickness this is what the lord says today let's read once again this illness this illness does not lead to death does not lead to death this illness this illness which you have which you have does not lead to death does not lead to death this cancer this cancer this sickness this sickness this affliction this affliction this confusion this confusion this depression this depression this illness this illness does not lead to death does not lead to death rather rather it is for god's glory it is for god's glory it is is for god's glory it is for god's glory so that so that the son of god the son of god jesus christ jesus christ may be glorified may be glorified through these through these praise the lord praise the lord thank you father thank you father this is the meaning of your suffering don't worry therefore trust in the lord and pray sincerely you are healed in jesus name praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord let's listen to this testimony exodus read exodus chapter 17 verse 10 onwards we read like this exodus chapter 17 verse 10 onwards we read so joshua did as moses told him and fought with amalek while moses aaron and hur went up to the top of the hill joshua went for physical batting battling Moses went for spiritual battling praise the lord praise the lord normally when you go a, for a battle you will send the most powerful person for the battle most experienced in the battling field in the army proper training those who are trained properly they are sent for bat- battle joshua is not a warrior and joshua is not trained as a army soldier but moses is a, a soldier moses was brought up in a palace moses was given training moses is most powerful but god sent joshua to go for the physical battle and god sent moses to the mountain top for the spiritual battle and we read like this and then verse 11 we read but moses hand verse 11 we read like this verse 11 the word of god says verse 11 whenever moses held up his hand whenever moses lifted up hands like these in a cross in a in the in the sign of the cross in the shape of a cross whenever moses lifted up the hands israel prevailed and whenever he lowered his hand amalek prevailed see the battling of joshua is not important in the session of moses is powerful more powerful than the battle of joshua the physical battle is useless if there is no spiritual battle 
your physical battle will be in vain all your hard work will be in vain if there is no spiritual hard work if all your spiritual and physical effort will be useless if there is no spiritual support that is why any time when we have ministries or retreats or any kind of retreat there should be so many people interceding and praying because the prayer of intercession is the real battle that is where the deliverance and healings and miracles and victory happens that is why moses said joshua you go i will prefer the bigger battle that is spiritual battle whenever moses held up his hand israel prevailed and whenever he lowered his hand amalek prevailed continue verse 12 but moses hands grew weary so they took a stone and put it under him and he sat on it Aaron and Hur held up his hands one on one side and the other on the other side so his hands were steady until the sunset his hands were stretched to both sides and he was lifting up the hands and praying as long as Moses hands were stretched out and lifted up the Israelites prevailed they were successful and came out victorious what does it mean it means the spiritual battle in the session praying for others is the most powerful weapon against any sickness any bondage even more than medicine praise the lord praise, praise the lord when your family member is battling in physically in the hospital bed against the sicknesses viruses bacteria including that with the help of the doctors and nurses and everyone is together as they are doing a battle in the hospital bed at that moment if you are ready to kneel down and lift up your hands and pray for your family member your prayer will be more powerful than the medicines that they are going to put in the body all the hard work of your the doctors and nurses more than that your prayer is going to be working and that is why even doctors and nurses request your prayers even we read like this in book of sirach the word of god speaks to us even doctors they also need our prayers they also need prayers they also need to pray and they also need your prayers praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus we read like this sirach chapter 38 verse 12 onwards sirach chapter 38 verse 12 onwards we read like this Let's read repeat this word of God Sirach chapter 38 verse 12 Give the physicians give the his, physician place, his place for the Lord created him for, for the Lord, Lord created do him do not let him leave you do, do not, not let, let him leave for you for you need him for you need him we all need doctors we all go uh, need to go to doctors when we are sick we have to depend on them you need to take medicines Let's read verse 13 There may come a time when recovery lies in the hands of physicians. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sometimes the recovery happens through only through physicians. So don't ever only depend on the prayer. You also need to depend on the medical science and you have to get because even the medical science and medicines and everything is a gift of God. And then verse 14 we read like this. for they to pray to the lord for they to for they pray, to pray to the lord, lord that he grant them that, that he grant success in diagnosis success in diagnosis and in healing and, and in healing. for the sake of preserving life for, for the, the sake, sake of preserving, preserving life. life that means there are two battles are taking place one is physical battle the other one is spiritual battle in the physical battle the sick person and the doctor nurses they are battling against the sickness or vi- bacteria viruses and all the family members are praying this is spiritual battle so that the doctors may be able to diagnose properly and give the correct medicine and the body of the sick person may respond properly and the nurses are being vigilant and help in the right time to help them so all these things are going to work together because of your intercession and prayer This is exactly what happened when Moses prayed at the top of the hill Joshua was victorious when jo- Moses failed Joshua failed when Moses was su- successful in praying Joshua was successful in the battle this is very important for us my dear brothers and sisters 
from today we are starting this one month long intercession and prayer for all the sick people who are joining in this live streaming god will never disappoint any one of them who is joining in this live streaming god is going to shower his mighty blessings and healings upon everyone there are thousands of people have joined together today and along with these thousands if you have any one family members or relatives or friends or anybody who is in need of healing please bring them and share with them the link the divine uk live streaming link and share with them and tell them to join faithfully in this whole month and none of them will be disappointed the lord's power is going to come upon them pray for them sincerely thousands of people are praying together right now in this live streaming for all of you you are not alone and therefore your prayers will never go in vain in this spiritual battle you will come out victorious and then physical battle will be so successful you will be released from the hospitals and doc and the medicines and the also sicknesses and the viruses and bacteria will come out of your body without any disturbance in your body praise the lord praise thank, the lord. You, thank you jesus thank you jesus let's pray together eternal father eternal we offer you, you the body, body and blood, blood soul, soul and, and divinity and of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful